crafters welcome back to my channel Margaret Knob designs thank you so much for joining me today and I'd like to share with you my design team haul for country craft creations I kept it simple this month because um, I want to get caught up on another pack of paper that I've got to work on and um, so what I wanted to do this month is uh, show you about the simple stories where they call them simple cards it's a card kit I actually really, really enjoy the card kits. And part of the thing with the card kit that I enjoy the most is the fact that I don't have to plan out the cards. It's not that I can't plan out a card. I absolutely can. But I like the fact that I, I don't have to think about it and I can get a really neat looking card um, out of it. So with Simple Stories, and these simple cards, they have lots of dimension because of the um, ephemera and um, the cut apart that are with it. If you look to the back of here, you can see all of the additional items that you do get with it that you can layer up, the card bases. And actually, what's kind of fun about this is that, like, if you took a look at this card base, this is actually printed this way. So you, didn't, you don't have to put it together. Um, and it makes it very, very simple. So one of the things that I do ahead of time when I have a card kit like this is I go ahead and I take these pages and I pop out all the pieces and then I put them into uh, separate containers or into baggies and I put it all together and then I sit down and I make all of them at one time after I've already divvied up all the parts because it just is so much faster that way. This way too is these are punched out and sometimes they do have little white notches left on them. So I also take the time at that point to um, use my file, my fingernail file if I need to or my uh, scissors and I just file off any of the little nubs if there are any. Um, let me just see what else. And then we've also got this ephemera back in here as well. I think this is so cool. I think these are just beautiful graphics. So I think the other thing about these, this set, and I think you should hop on over to Country Craft Creations to get it, it is going to make some really great um, cards for the guys in your life. And um, I think it'll make it very easy to uh, make them birthday cards, uh, Father's Day cards, or even something that's just a thinking of you card would be great with the gentleman in your life. So I have this card kit and I will show you how that looks with the, um, I also got some of the dots that went along with the kit so that I could um, add a little bit more onto them. But this is the Simple Card Kit by Simple Stories. And then, of course, you've seen me using a lot of black cardstock recently, so I filled in my black cardstock with another pack of that. And I also um, ordered two more packs of magnetic discs. I always need these. I love magnets on my mini albums. And then, last but not least, I got these flowers by 49 and Market, and I am planning on using them with this paper collection. This paper collection is from Country Craft Creations. Sorry about all the crinkling. I didn't think about taking this out ahead of time. I should have. I apologize. Sorry about this. But anyways, what I wanted to show you is this collection. It's called Always Happy. And it is a beautiful collection. The colors are just stunning. I love the greens and the yellows and um, all the bee theme in the paper. So let's go through the collection and you can see what we'll be using for making our next album. My next album, I believe I'm going to do something, I think in like an eight and a half by eight and a half uh, album and possibly a box to go with it. I'm not 100% sure, but that's kind of what I was thinking. So, in your collection, what you're going to get is you'll get two, um, two pages with um, like a cut apart as well as the ephemera items that you can cut out. And on the back of that is uh, a pattern paper if you don't want to use all of the pieces. 
I frequently um, will use maybe single items on both sheets, but I usually only use one cut apart page and then this one I love to be able to use the back of that page. And then we have two of the cut apart pages that are the same, but they're beautiful cut aparts and you know just look so sunny with the with the sunflowers on there and uh, the green and the beige or tan is just gorgeous. And on the back of that is um, a honeycomb with some bees in the background, kind of a peachy tan color. And then when we get into the pattern paper, there is three each of the pattern paper, so you have plenty to choose from, and um, you have plenty, <coughs> excuse me, plenty to go through in a mini album. And on the back is a green toned beehive. Sorry, my throat is scratchy all of a sudden. Now look at this one, isn't this just stunning? Oh, I think this is just beautiful. And the nice thing too is that with this collection, if you would like to, um, you know, use one of them for cutting out flowers or some of the other items to lift them up off your pages, you have enough to be able to do that. And then on the back there is a sunflower pattern paper. And then this one. Oh, I think this is just great. I think the colors are striking. I love the green with the yellow and the black and the beige. Um, and then there is also sunflowers in the background. It's just, um, there's layer upon layer of images within this collection. They really did an awesome job with this collection. Same thing right here with the honeycomb, sunflowers, and then a little piece or, of a tag that is onto one of the layers of the paper. Very, very pretty. And then this green, this green paper is just gorgeous. I think the tone of it is perfect and can be used in a lot of different ways. It could be laid right down on an eight by eight paper and um, used that way to decorate your pages. It also, you could also fussy cut out any of this part of the pages. Or what I've done in the past is, maybe I just want the corners. Well, I've taken it so that I've cut out just the corners and put them on my page to frame out the picture in the middle of the page. So, and then on the back of here we've got our outstanding bees. The nice thing about them is that they are a little bit uh, faded, so a little bit grungy. There's small bees in the background and the bigger bee in the foreground. But it's a really nice bee side. Get it? Bee side? <laughs> here we've got our bumblebees again. Beautiful. Three sheets of paper. And um, we've got some really nice images of bumblebees with some script in the back, flowers in the back. So again, there's a lot of different layers with script in there and pictures. And then we've got on the back of here, um, honeycomb with writing in the background. So there's several different layers of images on the back of this page as well. This is probably one of my other favorite pages. I love all the vintage look to these. It looks like ads or publications uh, for honey and selling honey. So um, I think this will make a really nice page. Or it'd be nice to even layer uh, to make some kind of tags out of this for the book and uh, making it look very vintage or kind of junk journalish. Maybe, and that's maybe what I should even try to do with this collection is to do a junk journal. Maybe I will. And then the honeycomb on the back. Then we've got this page that has, um, it's more of a yellow pattern in here with the sunflowers along here, script in the background. And on the back of here, it is uh, a floral. It's a very light floral with um, the bee bringing out the color into the background. But this isn't quite tan and it isn't green. It just has a kind of, it could kind of go in any direction. It could go in a gray, it could go in a green tone. Even I think you could do something like with a steel blue. It might not even look bad with the back of that depending upon your book. And then we've got this paper again with the green. It's a different ad that's on here. And there's some different scripts and there's a bee 
into the background of this collection or this uh, pattern paper as well. And on the back we have beehives and we've got um, honeycombs right there. Again, very, very um, vintagey, um, beautiful colors and look just amazing with this collection and see how nicely uh, these florals will go with this collection. So I'll use these on my cover and this is called the Rustic Bouquet Marigold made by 49 and Market. The other thing I like about these is that they are a little bit of a flatter floral that they're not quite, they don't stick out quite as much. I like the Graphic 45 flowers but one of the things that I don't like as well, like I, I used on this was my last album or big album I made, is these stick up quite a bit more so when you open your book, when you open your book you do have like that, it sits like that. But when you have a floral like this that is a bit um, flatter, it'll let your book, allow your book to open a little bit more easily. So this is my design team uh, haul for the month of August and I will be getting working on the cards right away and then I will be getting working on this collection um, either next or there, uh, there might be one in between that. And I also may have some cards coming along as well. So again, I thank you so much for spending time with me today, taking a look at my design team haul and leave any comments or messages down in the, you know, the message box below. And thank you so much. Have a crafty day.